Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Sadie and today we're going to be doing a very very exciting video using the brand new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pricked Collection. I know I'm a bit late to it, I actually did do an unboxing on the day it launched but I just have not been having some good makeup days so today's the only day I can do it and I really really do enjoy this look. I mean can we talk about orange again my green eyes, so pretty. So in this video we're going to be doing swatches, um, first impressions, a full review, I'm going to be showing you all the products and my final thoughts about the whole entire collection. I cannot speak for the life of me today. So before we get started please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a nice big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more Jeffree Star related posts. And yeah let's get on with the video. So the first part of the video I'm going to be showing you some swatches, we're going to go into tutorial then lip swatches and then I'm going to give you um, a more up close inside the whole entire collection and my final thoughts so first i would show you the supreme frost so this is citrus bling and this is crystal kumquat really really beautiful shades like i said they are more of like a glitter based highlighter more than anything um but this is absolutely stunning i love crystal kumquat i'm like i'm so excited to use that on more deeper skin tones all right so this is the first row of the palette can i just say these are one swipe they are gorgeous they're so so pigmented i swatched them really crappy but they are one swipe they are so so good so the shades are paler comparison fashion haul silver of sanity no sliver of sanity sorry cutting edge vitamin c unpleased pleasure pulped addiction mysterious circumstances papaya latex orange fatale and twisted taste so so pretty um, can we talk about this row? Look how stunning these are. The mats look a bit iffy because my arm is still a bit wet, but oh my god. So the first shade you got is Thorny, Forged, Double Crossed, Unblunted, Glimmer of Hope, Slice Me Open, and Deadly Intentions. Like, oh my god. Fucking look at these two. They're so beautiful. Um, I just wanted to do some comparisons. This is actually pricked. Um, this is Forge, you can see Pricked is more, I've got like a pinky, a berry tone, whereas Forge is like the hot, hot red. Um, this is Cheeto Dust, that is, fuck I can't remember, I think that's Suck from Jawbreaker, and this is Vitamin C and Orange Fatale. Um, they look completely different, sorry that's Papaya Latex, like there's not very similar shades in these palettes at all. Let me just quickly swatch Fashion Haul from the Pricked, and I'm going to swatch orange juice okay they're quite similar i didn't give that one a good oh i pretty much say they're almost identical i would just say orange juice out of jawbreaker is just got a slightly deeper base to it all right so my eyes primed with p louise base uh the rumor one and the first brush I'm going to take is Morphe S21, this is a bit bent but it's fine. And I'm taking the shade Double Cross which is the more matte, deeper, browny orange, like the deepest, darkest one, I just said that. And I'm basically going to pop that in my outer corner and just through my crease. Then I took a Morphe R39 and I took the shade Thorny. Now I put this through my crease and I blended it upwards so I sort of merged the two together. So I went through the crease first, sort of give that, is it double crossed? Yeah, a shade a bit more warmth and I just slightly went upwards to blend it out. Nothing special. I don't want it to be anything. I'm just having such a rough time at the moment doing makeup. Like, I'm just not there. So, I'm not a huge fan of this look. But, I'm just going to get on with it because I need to do this video. I then took a Morphe M4, M456 with a shade Cutting Edge. Oh, and I just dropped it all over me. And I just blended the outer edge with it. Thank you. 
Alright, so I just primed the bottom of my eyes. So I took a four line brush, a flat shader brush, and I basically done exactly the same what I done on the top to the bottom, and I'm blurry. Hello. Then I took my um, Perversion from Urban Decay 24-7 pencil and I popped that in my waterline and made sure I really coated it. Then I took a Morphe M508 and I smudged that underneath. Then that four line brush I took, I'm just going to take double crossed again and blend that over it just so it's not much of a harsh line. Then literally all I'd done for the lid was that on my finger I got the shade Fashion Haul which is this like beautiful orange and I just chucked it all over my lid. Not being careful at all, just chucking it on. Then I just took a um, Transition Over Decay Taper and Blending Brush and I took the shade Double Cross and I just blended the edges of that a little bit more. Then for the inner corner I just took a, this is just an Urban Decay like sort of pencil brush and I took the shade Pale in Comparison and I popped that in my inner corner. And on my brow bone also. And with the same brush, I'm just going to take that fashion haul shade again and I'm just going to pop that just a little bit here in my inner corner. So that is literally the eyeshadow. I'm going to quickly pop on some mascara, eyeliner and lashes and I'll be back to show you swatches, etc, etc. Alright, so I've got my base on. I just thought I would show you what one of the Supreme Frost it looks like. I'm using the shade Citrus Bling. And I'm going to pop some on my finger, ignore my nails, they are minging. I'm, oh, I'm actually getting acrylics done tomorrow, which I haven't had on since before the pandemic actually started, so I'm so excited. Um, so this is what Citrus Bling looks like on the skin. Obviously, I'm just showing you what it looks like on now. At the end of the video, I'm actually going to talk about it more than anything. Um, obviously, I'm just going to show you what they look like applied on. Right, I'm going to swatch um, the Supreme Glosses first. Um, excuse my mates, I've got one, two, three, four, five on there because I've had to wear a mask again. Um, not that I wasn't wearing masks, but I'm having to wear masks more full time again. Um, just because where I work, yet again, there's COVID, so... And I mean, I sweat, so I've just got my mates hanging out with me. So the first one I'm going to take is Entwined, which is this beautiful, more pale coral gloss. I actually smell these. Didn't he say that they're orange scented? Oh, yeah, it's got up my nose, for fuck's sake. Oh, they smell so good. They literally smell like Terry's chocolate orange, which is the best. I'm gonna go in with another little coat, but I actually thought this would be too pale for me, but it's really, really nice. Really, really like that colour. Goes really well with the look as well. Next gloss I'm gonna take is Nude Garden, which is more of like a terracotta nude. This really reminds me of like Libra Lynn, allegedly, etc. So this would go really, really well with other lipstick formulas. Look, I'm not being too careful with this just because they're glosses and I don't want to ruin my foundation. Mmm, that's a really, really nice orangey brown. Ooh, this also goes... They're all going to go really well with it. Let's not go to lie. Let's not lie? Okay, whatever. Next shade I'm going to go with is Orange County, which is like a more of a paley, pinky watermelon type shade. I do feel like in the whole entire collection this shade is like the outsider but it does go really really nice with it not particularly my sort of like 
shade range that I like or tone, but it's still really pretty. Next I'm gonna go in with is Never Content, which is more of the cool tone, nudie mauve shade. Mmm, that is a really beautiful chocolatey cool tone shade. This would go great with like Dominatrix and Tasty, but it still goes very, very well with the look as well. Right, next shade I'm going to go in with is Hot Headed, which is like this bright orange, which I am here for. Oh, it's like fucking orange. I've not swatched this very well, but this is a hot hot orange and um, i'm here for it and the last shade out of the supreme gloss is unicorn blood which is like one of his iconics i'm not sure if it's a design blood or unicorn blood i've got i can't remember oh this goes so well with the look oh definitely feel very vampy love this so much so i totally just forgot to press record first thing i'm going to go in with out of the vlog lipsticks is no squeeze all right i think it's a bit too pale for me but i'm kind of living for it at the same time this would go great on braid with another lip um but that was literally one coat it's really drying down really really like it i kind of actually really like this next thing i'm going to go in with well i can't speak Play Your Luck, which is this beautiful um, terracotta brownie orange colour. Oh, I really like this colour. This reminds me somewhere like in between Deep Pockets and Dead Presidents from the Blood Money collection. Mm, this is such a good fall colour, such a good fall colour. Next shade I'm going to go in with is Tangerine Queen. Um, this is like a really burnt hot orange and I kind of live for it. It goes really, really nice with the look as well. Oh, really, really like this colour as well. Like I said, yeah, it's just a definitely more... Burnt orange, deeper tone than Tangerine Queen. This would go very, very well with um, hot headed gloss. Nice. Next shade I'm going to take is Don't Panic, which is more brown toned than out of the rest of them. I can't speak, I'm so sorry. This has got that like, really nice, like chocolatey burnt, but you still got that red orange undertone in it. These are all one swipe, by the way. They're so pigmented and so nice. The last shade is Bite My Lip, which is like this beautiful vampy, still like a burnt red, purple, more. So there we have it. Here's the finished look. The lips I actually went in with was Play Your Luck and No Squeeze as an ombre. I don't know why this collection just makes me want to do ombre lips. I find it so, so pretty. Try the gloss. Now I'm going to keep it this way first for a little while and then I might put a gloss on later for some photos. Right, let's give you my final opinion. So obviously let's talk about the palette first. Like this palette is absolutely stunning. Like no other brand has ever done this. And of course we can expect from Jeffy the most outrageous packaging. But it's so pretty. It's really nice. It's not as bulky even though I know it's obviously a circle and blah blah blah. But it's not as bulky as other palettes have been. Um, so I think this will still be quite easy to store. Obviously it's not going to be the most perfect thing to store. But it's definitely going to be easier laying flat because you can stack on top. I really like how you open the packaging. You just lift this up here and you push it i will admit my palette especially is a little bit difficult to close like i really have to push it down and push this in um and i'm gonna say this i don't know if you noticed on my unboxing video if any of you watched this this is actually a very very fragile um palette and i broke it quite easily um so i don't know if you can see oh god i don't want to hold it because i don't want to break it even more here it's actually completely come away oh my god ignore my messy desk um i held it like this and it just like you can hear it in the video just break it and me just holding it like that although i thought it'd be fine with the support of these um but yeah it's ah there it is look you can see how much it's actually broken away so 
just a word of warning by here is not the strongest part of the palette so um yeah i have to go and glue it i break everything i break everything but yeah trying to close it i really have to make sure it's nice and tucked down and then we put it back in so obviously this is what the palette looks like i'm in love with this like oranges i actually went off warm tones and stuff like that for a very very long time but this palette is like perfect and i'm kind of glad i've noticed like with jeffrey's palettes is that they're getting more and more cohesive like i love blue blood i love some of his other palettes but sometimes you were sat there going why are these colors in here when it's like a blue red whatever palette blah 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 but like i just feel like they go all so well with each other like if you look at bloodlust like that random pop of red although i do love our serpent but that random pop of red that that antique gold it just didn't work with it i've just brightened you on my camera because it's oh my god please don't rain i'm almost finished please don't rain my biggest regret was buying this because i can literally do exactly the same shades on this side that's in that palette um I mean, it's a full palette, it's nothing new. I still have these shades in every other palette. There's so many palettes with these shades. So I'm not saying it's revolutionary, but it's such, it's such a nice palette to have all together. So the palette is £52 for $2. I always think they are worth it. Um, is it an £18 shade? I've never noticed, hold on. Yeah, it's still like his originals, £18 shades. I mean, for Jeffree Star quality, you do get what your money is worth. Do you need it? If you have the antidote palette, I don't think so. But if you are a Jeffree Star collector, it is a really, really good like palette. It's really, really pigmented. The um, actual shade Glimmer of Hope is honestly the most stunning gold I think I've ever, I've ever seen from him. If you haven't got a warm tone palette, definitely grab this. It's so worth it. But just a word of warning that it is very fragile. I really, really enjoy the palette. I know... Like, I love this look. It's really, really simple. I use, what, four shades? And I really, really enjoy it. All right, also in the collection, we've got six brand new shades of Supreme Gloss. Obviously, they all match in with the coral. They smell like orange, but they smell like Terry's Chocolate Orange. If you haven't tried Terry's Chocolate Orange, you don't know why you're missing out on because it is the most divine chocolate ever, and I always make a cheesecake out of it. Ooh, it's the best. I absolutely love these colours. I think the only one I don't like, which I said in my, when I was doing my swatches, is our Orange County. There's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't suit me, I don't think. I don't suit, like, neon corally pinks. Um, I love, like, neon pinks. Like, we all know Jeffrey What the Fuck is my favourite um, for Lola Liquid Lipstick. Um, I just don't feel like I sort the... I, I suit these, like, watermelon. That reminds me of 714. So, very, very similar. But these shades are absolutely stunning. Like, they, they are just perfect for, like, the red, the hot orange. Like, the nudes. They're so, so pretty. And they are so, so worth it. Yes, they are a gloss. They do transfer. Um, they have definitely more wearing and obviously more pigmentation than the original gloss. Um, I love the doe fat applicator of these. I think it blends so well onto the lips and curves really, really nicely. I think it's going to rain. Please don't rain. These retail for $20 and £17.50 in Great British Pounds. Um, if you aren't a gloss person, don't go for them. I never was a gloss person though until I got into Jeffrey's formula. Obviously you've got the original gloss which is quite just a transparent gloss with the odd like shimmer of the actual colour. Oh my god. But yeah these are beautifully pigmented. I will admit like the first shade I used which was in in twined it wasn't the most pigmented but it was still really really nice that you still had like a colour to it. Um obviously just wasn't as pigmented as like this shade but um, I really really like them. I prefer the packaging. I like the packaging of both. I love the over the top packaging of the original gloss but the Supreme Gloss is very very elegant and smooth and very very sleek. Alright we also got some for Lola Liquid Lipstick shades. As you all know these are like my top notch. I don't wear anything else apart from these for Lola Liquid Lipsticks. Now the sun's coming out and I'm going very bright so just ignore that. Um, but yeah, these shades are absolutely beautiful. The lightest one I was still a bit unsure of but I still really really liked it. It gave me like that um, sort of concealer lip type sort of thing but I actually really enjoyed it. Like I said, I've actually used it in the centre of this one and I absolutely adore it. These are absolutely beautiful. Obviously the packaging's the same. One thing I will say about these, I need to turn you down now. Hold on a minute. There we go. Is that... If you all can remember when Jeffrey first released his Velour Look Lipsticks, they didn't have the clip on it. These don't. These, literally as I open opening them, were actually 
almost open like you can't even see it click into anything um so just a warning word of warning i think all of them are like it i just dropped them all yeah like literally how easy it is to actually open them whereas if you look at his other ones let me see if it's this one yeah that has a clip those ones don't and i don't understand why um but just be careful that they might become loose in your handbag so these go for $18 and they are 16 great British pounds. Always worth it in my eyes. Nova Lola lipstick's not worth it. They're the best liquid formula I've ever used ever and I will never use anything else. All right, then we have the Supreme Frost. We have Citrus Bling and Crystal Kumquat. These go for 30 great British pounds and 32 or 34 um, dollars. Um, this is my first time trying the Supreme Frost. I've only got like the Skin Frost and the Extreme Frost. Um, I've got to admit, I do like it, but it's not my favourite. I'd say it's probably my least favourite out of the whole entire Skin Frosts. Um, just because I like a little bit more. Even though it does look really, really pretty on camera. The, it's more of like, oh, I can't describe it. It like hasn't got a base to it. Like, with the Extreme Frosts, they are like straight up glitter with no base. But they are just more blinding. Where this is more subtle. So, this is more subtle than a skin frost as well. So this is probably the most subtle of all of his highlighters, which is probably why I don't like it. Well, I do like it, but I don't like it. This will definitely just be used as a topper. It looks really pretty here, but um, in a look I done yesterday, which I'll pop up here if I can, I actually used a skin frost underneath it, then I put this on top, just because it wasn't enough for me. But they are really, really pretty at the same time. Like, I would love to use these on brides and in my freelance work. And I mean, I love the print of the orange with the star and it dripping, like citrus bling. It is really pretty, but also crystal kumquat is as well. It's starting to rain, I apologise. Like, oh, so, so nice. The reason I ever bought them was because they are a bit too dark, so citrus bling is actually really, really nice. It does have that, like, um, orangey undertone to it, like duo crown. But would I say that that was worth a £30? <laughs> Yes and no. If you like it, it's worth it. But to me, I wouldn't go out buying another Supreme Frost just because I just know they ain't going to suit me or I just prefer something a bit more blinding. Also in the collection, we've got three brand new lip scrubs, which I said in my video I was so excited for because I've only recently got into his lip scrubs and I absolutely adore them. Um, they are $12, 12 Greater British Pounds. They are so worth it. Like today, I had such dry lips, I could feel it coming. Literally just picked up the one in the bath my bathroom and it went, and you can eat them and they taste so good. So this is what the packaging looked like. It's so, so cute. Obviously his original one is normally pink with some chrome in. I'll show you one of his originals. This one is strawberry gum. So, so nice. Like I said, these would last you for ages as well. So it's not $12 that would be wasted or £12. Um, so this is orange gummy bear. This smells so good. I'm not going to touch it just because what's the point? I will use these when I finish them ones up, which will probably be in another year's time. Um, but that one smells like literally like gummy bears. And then you've got blood orange, which smells like Terry's chocolate orange to me again. And then we have cantaloupe, which literally just is like a melon smell. But yeah, I love these. I'm so, so happy. And obviously all the packaging is orange, soft matte. I'm so happy we had lip scrubs in this. And the last item I got was the pink orange iridescent mirror. Um, obviously this was in the crown form. Obviously, like I said in my previous video, this threw me off a little bit, but I'm kind of glad it was involved in this collection because it does go very, very well. I'm just so happy I got iridescent, although I really do want the matte orange one because I just have to have orange. Um, I love this. This goes for £25. I think it's $30 in America these go for. Oh my god, I'm just hit myself in the face. Um, these are so, so worth it. These are so easy to hold. They're not heavy, but they're not too light. I'm not going to lie. I have dropped this mirror. This is my first mirror. Look at the state of it. I would say probably about 50 times, and it is not broke at all. I touch wood now that this don't break. This is the only one I do use. I will use these more, but just because that we're in a rented house, we literally have nowhere to put stuff. Um, so I do put my mirrors straight away in storage so when the time comes and i have my own room i'm definitely gonna hang these up and use them more but i just use my blow pony one just because whatever and i do have my led one right behind my camera so that has come out so handy like i love it because it's so nice and big also i never got to show you it there it is so so good 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. So pretty. Mine did break. I Gorilla glued it and it's absolutely fine. When I broke that, that was not my fault. It was actually, I think it was a production thing. Um, and I actually messaged Jeffrey. He read it and didn't reply to me, so I thought I upset him. I was like, but hey babes, it's broke. <laughs> So yeah, again, thank you to Jeffrey and the team for sending me this. I'm so, so grateful. Like, I could literally cry almost every time I think about it. Like I said, I just sit here some, and I'm just like, oh shit, I'm on this PR. Like, I worked so fucking hard for it. And funny story is that when I actually got on PR, I almost gave up YouTube. Like, I was sat there going, I'm not going to bother with this anymore. I'm not getting anywhere. And then this happened, and it's kept me going so much. And you guys, obviously. You guys keep me going, but... It got to a point of just going, I don't feel like this is going anywhere. And then this happens. <laughs> My life was saved. But yeah, I absolutely adore this collection. This collection made me so excited. Like, every collection makes me excited. I, I, I just love all of his products. Pink Religion, like... Oh my god, I loved Pink Religion. Why didn't we get any of all the lipsticks in Pink Religion? Like, how bomb would some of those colours have looked? Anyway, that, that's me going on a different one. But I do feel like Jeffree's definitely back. These colours are absolutely beautiful. This whole entire collection was beautiful. Um, I did get the mascaras. I don't think anyone on PR got mascaras. They're not available available on Beauty Bay yet. Um, but unfortunately, I just don't think I can afford all three of the mascaras, even though I do want them kind of badly. Um, I might get the brown one. I might just get all three and just waste my money. Um, but yeah, if I can get them, I will get a review up for you guys. But I just don't have them. And um, I think we all know that this mascara is my absolute favourite. I've definitely noticed a huge difference in my lashes. Like, they've definitely grown and they separate. I love them on the bottom. Um, yeah, I absolutely adore this formula. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new and give me a nice big thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.